Howdy, y'all. It's another Best of the Mancho special from Dunton Hot Springs, Colorado. This is a dude ranch. And that's a horse. Yeah, sure is. But don't worry, the only dudes you're going to see around here are us. That, is that right, Chuggies? Yeah! All right. Now, I need you ladies all to turn around, first of all, butts to the camera. That's right. Now, we got this thing good and hot. We're going to put a nice brand on each one of you. Mark it. What? Hey! Chug Little Juggies, come back! We, we gotta brand you! We can't have our Juggies getting mixed up with Juggies from other ranches! We can't have it! <laughs> we may have taken this too far already. <laughs> Take a look at this, our fishing trip with William the Refrigerator Perry. Ah! Well, here's the base shop. Let's pick up some items. Okay. And uh, see what we can get. Fridge? Look, it's a fridge. Oh. <laughs> right, That's good. Right. <laughs> See, it's going to be that kind of stuff hey, all day long. Hey, we can have break time. All day long. First time you yeah. heard that one, right? Yeah, yeah, first time. Yeah. No, uh, hey, no BS, man. Let's go catch some fish. Let's yeah, go. No there problem. you go, guys. Thank, Thank you. Guys. All right. Have a good day. Yeah. We're going to kill these fish. And we you know? have got you. <laughs> yeah. Fridge, you didn't fart, did you? No, no, not yet. <laughs> oh. Did you catch anything? Did you catch anything? No. no, I ain't got nothing yet. Yeah. No. Nothing yet, nothing yet. Uh oh. What? Oh. Oh. Felt, <laughs> felt, felt a nibble there. I believe he, I believe he lying to me. I don't believe he got a bite. Yeah, I believe he I know, I felt, I felt something. How dare you two come out on the oh, lake you and just, attack you me? You're just in the bottom, that's all you're doing. <laughs> Fish on! Now, Fridge, would this be a situation where we want to play defense and actually knock Adam Fridge off his line? See, now, if I was like I was, you're right. Yeah. I would, I would, I would, I would knock him out the boat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he missed the fish. Oh, oh that's pathetic. You got nothing. <laughs> you got nothing. <laughs> what happened? Oh. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. What happened? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Why here does he go. keep saying, here we go? I got a fish. Oh, he's got a fish. Jimmy, you want to get ready with your jinx net? <laughs> <laughs> See this, Adam? This is how you bring a fish in. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's a beauty. Look at that. That's how you catch a fish. That's how you do it. That's how you catch a fish. Look at that. Hey, hold on. You yeah. don't get no better than this. That's right. Hey, I think I got to catch about 20 more now. Hey, <laughs> Sean, get the net. There we go. There's a little fish. Bring him on the boat. Put him on the boat, babe. Come on. There you go. Nice. I put him in there for you anyway. Nice. The hell went flying out of here. <laughs> that's beautiful. Look no, at that's that. That's nothing. That's a guppy. Come on, don't mess around. Come on, Adam. Oh, don't run the boat. Your first fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Rich, dump some beer on my spool. She's burning up. Whoa! This is what you call vindication, boys. Well, we'll see. You ain't got him in yet, now. <laughs> what happened? He got off again. What the hell happened? This is embarrassing. Well, at least it'll be all forgotten about and never spoken of again. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate Adam as a fisherman? Oh, uh, now nah, he done moved up to a zero. <laughs> what do you say we wrap it up, fellas? All yeah, ready. I'm hungry. Me too. Yeah. All ready. Ah. Ah. Have you ever cleaned a fish before? Oh, <laughs> hell, I worked on a tuna boat for six years in college. Man? <laughs> I think it looked scary. Doesn't, doesn't that hurt the fish? No, no. Oh, you're dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Stick your hand in there, you take it like this, and you just rip oh. him over like this. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Just rip him over. Oh, you, went, you heard and him. You take, oh. Come on, princess. Oh, that's uh, my, my girlfriend's going to think I was cheating. <laughs> Listen, I, I've done dogs and cats, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> and now we eat. Right. Wow. This is the great. Thanks for taking us fishing, Fred. Yeah. Really, it's a great time. Man, you know, fishing with you guys ain't almost better than winning a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Really? Really? No. <laughs> yeah. 
That was a great day, and fishing's just one of the many activities here at Dunton. That's right, they got these natural hot springs, and the best thing about fishing in them, the fish come up already cooked. Wow. Look at that beauty right there, yeah. right? That's nice, huh? Let's go. <laughs> that is stupid. <laughs> Juggies in a waterfall. I am so glad we stole this country from the Indians. They just would have built a casino here, you know? Oh, yeah. It's the best of the man show from Colorado. And Jimmy, you know what these wet juggies remind me of? No. Remember that time we visited that sick kid in the hospital? No. Remember the kid? He had the twisted spine. This is fine? All right. Well, maybe this will jog your memory. Michael, I have some visitors for you. Hey, Michael. How you doing? Wow, it's a man show. You heard you a little under the weather, huh? Yeah. We brought you some medicine. <laughs> you can't have that. You can't? Well, what can we do for Hey, you want to see Adam light one of his farts? Uh huh? Uh, how about uh, Jimmy chugs your IV bag? Well, uh -huh. what can we do for you? Anything? You want to see the juggies get soaking wet at the water park? <laughs> no problem. Why didn't you say so earlier? Chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding is his favorite. Oh. Thanks, Mancho. Wow, it is so beautiful out here. You know what this reminds me of? What? Mardi Gras. Really? No, but it makes a good segue to the following piece. We're in the bathroom of our Mardi Gras hotel to conduct a little social experiment. There's a whole bunch of drunken guys waiting to see girls take off their tops outside, right? And we've got a bad surprise for them, right? And what is that surprise, Stacy? Yow!
embarrassing butt cleavage. <laughs> you try to keep your pants up, but they just won't stay. Well, that won't ever happen again if you use Crack Spackle. Meyerson's Crack Spackle. The amazing new product that makes your crack look just like your back. Just pack the compound into the crevice. Smooth the surface, blow dry, and you're ready to go. Made from space-age polymers and waterproof resins, Crack Spackle allows you to lead a full and active lifestyle. Look at this one. Crack Spackle is odorless and comes in a variety of colors to match any ass. And Crack Spackle is easily removed. So no one has to know your secret. So throw away those belts. Because whether you're on the job or on the run. <laughs> if your canyon's open for yodeling, Crack Spackle's got your back. Crack Spackle, available in regular and Oprah sized from Myerson, the first name in butt concealment, available in fine stores everywhere. It's the best of the man show from Dunton, Colorado. What have we here? Hey, Art. What's wrong, little buddy? I wish they made cowboy hats my size. Mm -hmm. Hey, cowboy hats for midgets. Half-gallon hats. That'd be great for our next man of Asians. <laughs> Tonight, you'll be amazed by some of the amazing products the Man Show scientists have been working night and day to amaze you with. Oh, yes, you will. And let's get started with our first man of Asian, developed for the guy who loves to whack but hates to walk. Oh, yeah. That's me. When I have my pants around my ankles and a belly full of mess, the last thing I want to do is hop across the room looking for tissues. Me too. But wouldn't it be great if the tissues could come to you? Well, now they can with this, the tissue trolley. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here. That's my boy. Yes. You want a semen treat, don't you? <laughs> Anyone who's ever been in love knows there's no greater joy than starting a relationship with someone. Unless that someone owns a cat. The shedding, the hairballs, the pungent smell of urine, and the razor-sharp claws in your scrotum make cats a delightful pet. Ooh, look what we have right here. Oh. Let me tell you, if the only there was some way to make Whittle Fluffum's poo-poo baby muffin disappear. Oh, now there is, Jimmy. Really? And this, kitty litter quicksand. <laughs> Just pour a little into the little uh, demon's tray there. Yeah. And stand back and watch the action. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 It's just that easy. And the super absorbent litter helps muffle even the most ear piercing final meows. Let me tell you. That was a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Moving along. Drunks are a lot of fun. They liven up any party. But left unsupervised, they can also do a lot of damage. Introducing a fun and functional way to restrain the inebriated. From the makers of the baby jumper, it's the drunky jumper. <laughs> Now your favorite alky can jump around like a drunken monkey, safely and out of harm's way. <laughs> and finally, a man of Asian for those crucial times when you need to get plastered fast. It's the beer zooka. Yes. You'll go from sober to sloshed in seconds flat. This monster holds the liquid equivalent of a full case of beer with a muzzle velocity of two quarts a second. It's a pony keg in a gulp. Art, you ready? Aim, fire!
This is the best of the Mancho from a historic ranch in Dutton, Colorado. One of the rooms here is an actual teepee. It's this big yellow one. Let's go in and check out the amenities. Every teepee comes complete with, get this, your own pit full of juggies. Yeah! Hi, juggies. And one little Indian. <laughs> All right, well, Art and Adam are going to make some peace. In the meantime, pay attention to this. You might learn something. Give me that. <coughs> Joe Sausage is a... Yeah. <laughs> I met your cousin, Bob Bratwurst. <laughs> Is that your real nickname or just... Yeah, a... yeah. From the band I used to work for, they gave me that nickname uh, oh, about right. a year I ago. I can't imagine why. Um, <laughs> hey. um, Joe asks, what would you say to a date that ate less than half of what she ordered? <laughs> Joe, I'm guessing you'd say, give me the rest. <laughs> right? Oh, man. That's right. Another intriguing question. If I'm invited to spend the weekend at a family member's house, is it okay to masturbate in their shower? By, by all means. <laughs> they're not in it, right? No, they're not no, in it. Just okay. sometimes you get that urge. It's not like Grandma broke her hip and is lying there in the tub. Yeah. <laughs> You know, people get weird about you masturbating in their shower, but if I have guests, and I know that, you know, they're probably going to do this, that's, that's where I want yeah, them to do Yeah, that's the it. one room. I mean, do the math. You don't want them in the kitchen or the kids' room, do you? No. <laughs> so it's the only part of the house that has a floor drain, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it's perfectly fine. I, yeah. it, better than that, good etiquette. <laughs> Jennifer Topham, where are you? Jennifer? <laughs> What's this? What's up with the comb over look? And, uh, P.S., can I show my boobs? <laughs> we don't know, and yes. <laughs> Plural, that was boob singular. I want boobs up. Which, rem which reminds me, I have to buy a farm. <laughs> well, that's about it for the best of the man show from the wild, wild west. We'd like to thank everybody in the town of Dunn, Colorado for helping us out while we're here. And before we go, a traditional cowboy toast. Ziggy saggy, ziggy saggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy saggy, ziggy saggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy saggy, ziggy saggy, oi, oi, oi. There you go. And now, squaws on trampolines.